Everyone thinks waffles are so much better than pancakes, but can you dip a waffle? No! Check this shit out. your waffles. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Bellisai and this is To Be Honest, a weekly video series where I get drunk in the middle of the day and tell the truth about shit. On this week's episode, Reasons Pancakes are definitively better than waffles. Because for too long, we've just accepted that waffles are the superior breakfast carb, but no more. So let's drink. All right, first of all, pancakes don't require a special iron just for themselves. You can make pancakes on anything. You can make pancakes on a hot playground if you want to. Not like waffles, which require their own fancy dressing room because they are the divas of the breakfast world. And I'm the only diva allowed at breakfast. Have you ever tried buttering a waffle? That's like putting sunblock on a giant baby. If that baby had a bunch of holes in it. You get one glob of butter and one waffle dent, and then no butter anywhere else? I want my breakfast cholesterol like I want my societal wealth. Evenly distributed. Boom! Political! And don't even think about telling me to melt the butter before I pour it on. What do I look like? Some kind of alchemist? Do you want me to cook up the sorcerer's stone while I'm at it? Off. Putting butter on pancakes is sensual, like rubbing massage oils onto a beautiful buttock. Also, last time I checked, waffles haven't gone international, okay? Can you imagine the International House of Waffles? I how? Sound like a fucking confused idiot. Pancakes are universal. Waffles are only Belgium, which is a made up country, like Genovia or Canada. Also, sorry, but pancakes don't need fried chicken chicken to make them look hotter. Fried chicken and waffles isn't even that good. You think it's gonna be good until you start eating it and you realize it tastes like Colonel Sanders had a stroke halfway through making breakfast. I don't trust that crazy old man to make any food. What war did you serve in, Colonel? The war on my waistline, am I right, ladies? Plus, if I could live on either a pancake or a waffle, obviously I'd choose pancake. It'd be like a beautiful doughy desert. Waffles will have all those ridges. There'd be so much high hiking and climbing around. It would say the surface of holes from the movie Holes. We get it, Waffles. You look like you have a hard six pack, but mine is the body of the pancake. Flat, hairy, and soon to be covered in syrup. Also, you can put anything in pancakes. Chocolate chips, blueberries, cocaine. But waffles are just stuck up and they refuse to bend anybody else's rules. It's like, oh, you try to put chocolate chips in the waffle iron once and then suddenly everybody has to evacuate the dining hall. And then you're in the dean's office and he's like, this is the eighth time that you've done this this year. And if you do it one more time, we're kicking you out of your interpretive dance program. Fuck you, Dean Keller. Also, pancakes are versatile. They are the tops and bottoms of the breakfast world. You can have them on the side. You can have them underneath. You can have them as the main event. That's why they call them fluffy, because they're the fluffer of the breakfast community. They're there to make sure everybody else performs at their most erect. Also, pancakes don't try to pretend to be something they're not. Like, what the f our waffle fries. Nobody asked for this. We were perfectly happy with dick-shaped fries, but no. Big Waffle had to come in and force their shape on the most beautiful food in the world, the French fry. I'm looking at you, Chick-fil-A. You can suck my dick, you homophobic pieces of shit. I don't care how good your chicken is. Suck my asshole. Plus, waffles need to be made in the shape of whatever waffle iron you have, but pancakes can be any size or shape. I can make a pancake husband if I want to. And we can sleep in a pancake bed. And we can live in a pancake house. And none of you can do shit about it. Because the Supreme Court said, I can f 
fuck whoever I want. So joke's on you, America. I'm putting my dick in a pancake. And finally, Waffles think they're so high and mighty, but guess what? Their only claim to fame is in Shrek 1. When Donkey tells Shrek that in the morning, he's making waffles. But Donkey, he f a dragon. That's real. Donkey put his dick into a dragon. That's your mascot, Waffles. That's your hero. You have to take a long, hard look in the mirror, Waffles, because what you'll see is disgusting. Also, there's no such thing as a fluffy waffle, but there is such a thing as a fluffy stack of pancakes. So fuck yourselves. All right, everybody, thank you for watching this week. As always, you can find new videos every week on facebook.com slash mapllsi. You can follow me and all of my projects on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at mapllsi. You can listen to my podcast on Happy Hour on iTunes, wherever you get podcasts. And that's it. That's everything. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Oh, bye-bye. Also, what the f is an ego? It should be called waffle o. Because it is it because it looks like a f two fallopian tubes? Two ovaries? Is that what they call it an ego? Because of the of the ovaries? It should be called ovarios.